Steve, beautiful car. Thank you, you don't see these very often. This is a 62 Daimler SP250. SP250. Yes. SP250. Now, Daimler, I mean, you think about Daimler, sometimes called Daimler, um, you think German cars. Precisely. And Gottlieb Daimler. Exactly. But they had licensed that way back in England, right? 1893. 1893. Yes, sir. So the Daimler uh, in England is a, a long time car maker. Oldest car company in England. Isn't it amazing? Yet with a German name. With a German name. <laughs> well, tell me about this baby. Now, how long have you had? Uh, have uh, you had going this? on eight years. Wow, that's a long time. Did you restore it? Uh, yes. Well, bit by bit. Every year I do a little bit more and uh, try to improve on whatever it needs. Well, at least it's not going to rust. It's, no. It's a fiberglass car, right? Totally fiberglass. Steel Which, chassis. And, you know, I mean, 62, and it's still fairly early fiberglass. Exactly. Uh, so how'd that, how's that go? Um, I think it was probably competition for the Corvette. Yeah. It was easier for them to tool this in fiberglass than steel. Yeah. Um, Daimler was trying to survive a, uh, a money crunch they were having, and um, it was cheaper to tool this up in fiberglass much quicker. So they did a fiberglass car. Well, there's some, you know, pretty complex curves and stuff. And it's, you know, it's very, very swoopy in, in a lot of ways. No front bumper no, no on this. Optional front bumper. Some guys wrote a front bumper. They also make a cat whisker, which is an extension of the mm, grill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer it without the bumper. It's clean. Cleaner look. Clean, yeah. I like these too. That's a, that's a, that's a neat feature. They, um, Daimler did a lot of neat things. The scallops on their grills were one of their trademarks. Yes. It's yeah. on all their cars, the big saloons. Um, Sports cards, exposed easy to pick out. hood hinges, you know, which is shared kind of with kind of Austin Healey, three thousands. Yeah. And then I like the fender mount mirrors. Lucas, really? Lucas touches. Lucas, uh, and, and it's great having a Lucas part that doesn't really have to do <laughs> exactly. anything. Exactly. <laughs> no failure there. No, no failure. <laughs> and uh, the wire wheels and wide whites. What an interesting wide whites. Wide whites makes the wheels pop. It really does, it man. It just sets the car off. Well, very, you know, very English sports car interior, Smith gauges. You got your uh, your toggle switches. Conley leather, Wilton wool. Oh, really? Wow. So, I mean, right this, is, I mean this is a fairly high-end car. High-end. Roll-up windows, which most sports cars didn't have. Yeah, I'll say. They had side curtains in the day. And it looks like a really, you know, short throw four-speed there, too. I mean, it's... it's Got to go through the gears quick. Boom, 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 boom. Exactly. <laughs> four-speed? It's four-speed, non-synchronized first. Well, you know, this is, a, this is an interesting body. I mean, it's a little bit uh, Flash Gordon almost, you know, it's a little bit space age. People think it's a uh, sunbeam with the, with the fins. I was just going to say, I mean, you get to the back and you feel like it's a sunbeam. Yeah. British overriders on the bumpers. Yeah, yeah. Dual exhaust. Now, this is going to be some four-cylinder, six-cylinder. What, what uh, V8 Hemi. V8 Hemi. <laughs> Two and a half liter. You're, you're serious, huh? Yes, well, I am. Well, let's have a look at that. Okay. There she is. Wow. Two and a half liter Hemi V8. It is a Hemi V8. Exactly. And this isn't, this isn't some aftermarket uh, chop job. This is what Designed it came Designed for the car. Uh, Edward Turner was the engineer. Specifically wow. designed for the car, two and a half liters, three inch bore, two and three quarter stroke. So piston about like that? Uh, a little smaller. <laughs> Short push rod, high revving motor. Again, they sourced parts of distributors, a dual point from a Rolls Royce. Any other engine parts come from other manufacturers? Um, everybody. You know? <laughs> Your Lucas generator, typical of cars. SU carbs. SU carbs. Were you saying that the piston was shared with a motorcycle? BSA 650 motorcycle. This is, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I mean, that's a, that's a great looking little engine. It impresses a lot of people when I open the hood. Yeah. They can never believe that that motor's in this little car. And it fits well, too. It belongs in the car. <laughs> it definitely belongs in the car. So is she fast? Um, I think it's fast for the, for the period car. I've only gone about a hundred in it, but that's, that's fast, fast enough. enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have the brakes to, to yeah, four wheel disc brakes, oh, which was another first. I mean, cars didn't have four wheel discs back then. Well, I, this, this is, Steve, I mean, this is a fabulous car. You've Thank had you. it at the show before, right? Yes, every year. Well, I love this. Uh, Thank uh, you. Daimler SP250. SP250. Man, what a car. Thank you so much. Hemi V8. Hemi V8. It's got a Hemi.